everyone. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Brandon. And my name is Heidi, and we're here with another video for you guys. Today, we are going to be showing off our October pins of the month and opening up some magic mail. So let's get into all of that right now. So we are going to start off with our pins of the month. The board is empty. We have some pins that we picked that are Halloween fall themed, and then we each kind of picked our own that sort of maybe fit the theme. I also wanted to show off our clothes. Heidi's got this awesome Halloween shirt on, which we're just all in the Halloween spirit. I know that you think right now that I look like I work at Tower of Terror. I don't, but I'm all decked out in it. So let's do the pins. The first one I'm gonna show off is one that we recently got from the Disney store before they closed. It was our last ever Disney store purchase and it is of Rocket and Groot and it says happy haunting and Rocket is riding Groot like he is a witch's broom and I just think this pin is so great it's perfect for Halloween. We also picked a few different Winnie the Pooh and Friends pins. Yes. So this is the first one. Really really love this pin. It's like a fall type pin uh, but there's a pumpkin on there and you know Halloween's in the fall. Um, and so it's got Piglet on there, like flying away because of the wind, and Pooh's holding on to him um, in his scarf there. So that's super cute. And then the front also has like a leaf on it. So I really love this pin, and I think it's a limited edition. Oh yeah, it is limited edition of 300. It's from the Love Is an Adventure series. Oh my gosh, we have so <laughs> many those pins. We say it all the time. Yeah. I love that pin so much. <laughs> And this one kind of fits with the same pin that Heidi showed. And I think that we found out that this is like a misprinted pin. I think it's supposed to say like blustery, but instead it says blistery like a like Blist a blister. I but didn't it's know supposed that. to be blustery. So it says a rather blistery day, but it's supposed to say blustery. But this one is so cute. This is from Leslie over at Leslie Through the Looking Glass. She sent us this pin. It was so kind. It was one of her favorites, and it's one of our favorites. And Piglet actually moves up and down, kind of just like on Heidi's pin that she showed, but this one has the moving element. And I just think this one is so, so cute, and it really just captures the fall theme. So we have this pin next, and this is like a Halloween pin. It's really, really <laughs> awesome. Uh, so it's got Tigger, and it's got Rue, and it's got Lumpy, which is like the half a lump in, what's he's, it? He's British. It's like, like a half lump. Movie. Like movie. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's called. Okay, yeah. yeah. And they're all dressed up there. So Lumpy's a pirate. Tigger is like a superhero and Rue, what's Rue wearing? I don't know, he just has like a hat on his head. I don't really know what he's so wearing. So he's just going as himself. Yeah, and, and a bunch of little pumpkins there. This is a really cute pin. Does this one glow in the dark as well? I'm not too sure. Top, it might. Maybe it does, but it's really cute. It says Happy Halloween on it. It is perfect. It's also limited oh, edition, I think. Yeah, uh, 4,000. Very nice. And this one is also really cute, very fall. A theme. We actually did this the other day. We went to an apple orchard and we got some pumpkins and all that kind of stuff. And here is Pooh with a little farmer's hat and some overalls and he's pushing a little wheelbarrow of apples and Piglet is sitting on there. This just captures fall. It is so cute. And this is something that we have now tried to do every fall because picking apples is so much fun. Up next we have a Haunted Mansion pin. So yes. we're switching gears here. Spooky. Yeah, so we chose this pin because it, it is spooky and Haunted Mansion is spooky. Yeah. So here we go. And we got this pin from Megan and Mia. So yeah, we did. Yeah, we're excited to put this one on our board for Halloween. And it's also special because that was the first ride that we ever rode together at Disney. It's awesome. And the next ones are three that are from the same set. Two of them are real and one is a scrapper, but that's okay. We're still going to use it anyway. These are pins that glow in the dark and they are of characters like dressed up as ghosts. We have Donald, which is the scrapper one, and then Judy and Finnick from Zootopia. They are so, so cute. The only one that we're missing would be Baymax and a real Donald, but I really, really want the Baymax one because they're so cute. These are from Hong Kong Disneyland, and like I said, they glow in the dark, so when they used to be on our pin board in the night, you would see these two glowing, and it was really funny. So now we're gonna show the pins off that we picked that we haven't shown each other Heidi speaking <laughs> over at my pins. These are ones that either make us think of Halloween or kind of have something maybe Halloween related, but they're kind of outside of the box. So my first two, is my favorite Halloween costume that I've ever wore and it was with Heidi and we wore these to work when we worked at the gym. It was really, really funny, but it is Carl and Ellie when they are kids in their little outfits. And these were a set at the parks and they're kind of like the buttons um, like of a bottle cap that she turns into a button after. There's Ellie and Carl. They just look so, so cute. And we dressed up as that and you can check that out. Maybe we'll post that like in a story uh, like around Halloween time because they are just too cute. 
And so I kind of went a similar approach here. So I have this character dressed up in a in an outfit. So I guess that's like what you do on Halloween. Cute. So I picked it. So I picked Pascal and he's dressed up in like a dress that Rapunzel made for him. He doesn't look very impressed, <laughs> but I really, really like this pin. And I think this one's from, yeah, Disneyland Paris. So had to include that one. And then I'm gonna stick with that theme of a character dress and an outfit. This has become one of my favorite Disney characters, one of my favorite Disney scenes, and one of my favorite Disney moments. And it is Baloo when he's dressed up. Oh, I almost dropped it. When he's dressed up and he's singing there and he just looks so awesome. This, if I could go like dressed up this year for Halloween, this is what I would be because I just think it is so funny. So there he is, he just looks awesome. Of course I had to pick a pin from my Tower of Terror collection. Um, I didn't know which one to pick. So then I picked this one because it has like a zombie guy on it. And so I thought it was like double oh. Halloween. -y. So I picked this pin, I'll show you it first. So yeah, the, the bellhop is like a zombie. Person. Is he a zombie or is he just looking rough? I think he like yeah, he's a zombie for okay. sure for sure. Okay, I was gonna say and then it says we invite you if you dare your room is ready Are you starring your bellhop the, Hall the Hollywood Tower Hotel? In Ooh, color? Maybe that could be me. We were talking off camera that like I'm wearing this like that I could work there But I don't think I could work at that ride. So let us know in the comments <laughs> I want to know this which ride do you think that me and Heidi could work at at Walt Disney World, which one I could work at and which one Heidi could work at that we, we kind of like fit the vibe. Let us yeah, know yeah. in the comments down below. My next pin is of my favorite Disney villain. It is of my guy, Hades, and it is just an awesome pin. I love Hades. This is an open edition one from the parks and you can see him on there just looking so sly and Hades is just a great villain. I love him so much. We don't have a lot of like villain pins or scary pins. So this is one of the only ones that I have of him. So I had to show it off. I also have like a very mini, but not really, I don't know. I have like a NBC collection, but then I like kind of don't. It's you like weird. downsized yeah, it. Yeah, I downsized it, but I, I pulled out some of these NBC pins. Love so it. I'll show, I guess, these two together. Or actually, you can help me show them. Okay, I'll help you show them, sure. Um, So I just picked ones of like, I guess like these are like a bunch like of all like- all the mains. Yeah, all the mains yeah. and ones that I like. I love it. And they're all pins that I like of these particular characters. So this one is like one of my favorite pins yeah. for sure. Um, especially from this collection, I think it's like my favorite pin. It's Lock, Shock, and Barrel in, in like the tub full of, but it's full of candy corn. Love it, what a cool yeah. pin. And I think they actually, yeah, there's like a train oh, that like yes. hooks together. I don't even know what the other pins are Me from either. it, but very cool. Then I have this one of Jack and Sally. Um, this is from like a regular, I think like a lanyard set, yeah. but I think it's really, really nice. Like the picture of them looks really, really well done. Yeah. So I have that one. Want to show this guy? This is your guy. Okay. It's your guy. And then I have, Boogie Boogie. Uh, I just picked this pin because I'm not really sure why. I like it, it's plain. Yeah. I don't know, he's cool. I guess uh, you didn't actually have to help it's me. It's okay, I'm just, like I'm holding them for you. Sorry. So. And then we have the mayor and I love this pin yeah. because this hat looks so tall and it, this like has a moving element to it. Love it. Um, so yeah, the four of those I thought like I would just show together because I don't get to show off my like yeah, NBC don't. pins because they're just like random and so small. And so I felt like they're good for Halloween. So I have two more pins that I'm gonna show. This pin is of my favorite superhero family. It is of the Incredibles. And of course I picked this because they dress up in their superhero costumes to go save the day. I just love this movie, everything about it. I love this pin. It's just an open edition from Incredibles 2, but I think that it shows the family super well. And you got so many elements, the cookie and the force field and dash moves. It's just a great pin and then the last one that I want to show like has kind of something to do with Halloween. It is of Huey, Dewey and Louie. And I mentioned this when we did our little background, like decorate with me, that there is a little short on Disney Plus. It came out obviously like so long ago, but I hadn't seen it in so long. And then we watched it the other day. So I picked this pin of Huey, Dewey and Louie because they dress up in their little costumes and the witch comes and all that stuff. So if you've seen that, you'll know how awesome it is, but I had to show this pin off because that is just an awesome short. So those are all of our pins on our pins of the month board for October. Let us know which ones that you liked. We're gonna put them on the board at the end of this video and then 
They will live in our background for the month of October. So now we're gonna get into the packages that we received. This isn't your traditional pin mail or magic mail Monday because it's kind of both put together. We haven't really been doing a lot of pin trading because we've been so busy with all the move and then all the things afterwards. So we have one pin package and then two pieces of magic mail. So why don't we start with the pin package because it just has been so long since we've opened one. You go for it, okay. Heidi. Uh, I guess I'm like nervous because this like, I know because I'm it says just, do not know. bend and I think that the post office did a pretty good job. Okay. I'm not too sure, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go like this. Go for it. Everybody's watching you even though they can't see, they're stressed out. Oh, no, I did it good, I think. All good here. I'm just gonna go like this. We're in. Okay. You made it into the package. Okay, here's the pin. Do I get a look at it? I looked at it a little you, bit. You peeked before? I like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll start with this. Okay. No, it says the wrong thing. Oh, that's right. <laughs> okay, so this is from Abby, who we traded with. But the note is so funny. It says, Hi, Abby. Thanks for the trade, Selena. So, you know what, Abby? This is just a repurposed note, and I'm so here for it. So, Abby, thank you so much for we, the trade. We like, we like, I feel like we like know Abby now. Yeah. Because it's do. like, you know. Yeah. Everyone in your pin this, group, like yeah. you trade with them so often. And I wonder if we'll be able to like, cause when you're going Meet to Meet some people. Yeah. yeah. Okay guys, we're so excited for this like pin Side like note. slash Disney event meetup. It's happening like the weekend of the week that you're watching this yeah. on the 23rd. And we're going to vlog it and like update on it. It's going to yeah. be so fun. Caitlin and Austin from Magically Caitlin are coming to see us. It's just going to be so much fun. So maybe some people will be there. Yeah. There's like a pin event. Did yeah. you say that? Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll just show uh, the stickers. Okay. So we got a bunch of different stickers. There's like a Rapunzel, but it's almost like an outline of her. Oh. It's very nice. We have this Toy Story 2 one, very cool. Uh, we have this Anna one. We have Jasmine. And then we have a Minion. Oh, so that's those so... are so cute and so fun. So cute. So if you didn't know, we pin trade online and we. Uh, pin trade in some Facebook groups and we always leave them linked in the description. We also, as of recently moving, got a new PO box. Yeah. So we trade to there as well. And the magic mail that was sent to here was also sent there. So this will just be so much fun. So this pin is for you and this one is for me. Yes, I'm so happy with this pin. Thank me you, too. Brandon. You're so welcome. So my favorite collection is Tower of Terror. I don't have like a huge collection, but I'm I just I'm trying my best. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. <laughs> not For not being able to be at the park to yeah, trade and I buy guess. pins, it's pretty big. Um and so this is like from that new it was a new mystery set. Yeah. What is it called? That it's like that art. Yeah, like like some artist like yeah. made like pins and there was like a design of like yeah. some homeware, a blanket, all that stuff. You can just let us know in the comments. Yeah. I'm sure someone knows what we're talking about. <laughs> this is the pin, and so from that collection they had this tower bell hop. Uh, guy in there, so I cool. we didn't get any of like the actual boxes. like boxes, but I was so happy to have this one because realistically, this is the one I would want. And hold that up here because look, could I work there? Like, does that look like me? Maybe. Let us know again in the comments. So this is the smallest pin I've ever seen that I have. And this is a pin from the Tiny Kingdoms pins, Whoa, which are never a box set, which you've never opened. I would love to open I some because I think it'd fun. be so fun. Um, we just haven't like been able to get access to pins because like the Disney stores closed and all that. But Box Lunch, I'm told, has good pins, so we're gonna have to go there. But this is a pin from Guardians of the Galaxy. I have to bring it in real close for you to see. I feel like your Marvel collection's like is growing, huge right? Now. This is the Awesome Mix Volume One. It's a little cassette that Peter Quill has and plays all that awesome music. I love this pin so much. It's so, so tiny, but it's so cool. So I had to have this one for my Marvel collection. So Abby, thank you so much for the trade. So the next item that we're going to open is a card and it says in the back, open on or after October 5th. So it is after October 5th. And this is from Rochelle and Donna at the Dauntys who are just two of the most incredible people that you'll ever meet. They are so awesome. We have grown close with them over this last little while and they are honestly just two of the best people. So if you have not seen their channel, you need to go check it out. We'll leave it linked in the description. They are just the absolute best. So there's some stickers. You wanna show those off first and then I will read the card. Sure, they're frozen stickers. They're Actually, perfect. they're frozen two stickers. They are. So that's my favorite. So we have this one um, of Elsa, Anna, Olaf, and Kristoff. That's so beautiful. Then we have this one of Elsa running. Ooh, she's so fast. 
<laughs> and then we have this one of Elsa again. And me and Rochelle both love Elsa and yeah. Frozen, so I love that. Thank you. And then here's the card. We got some little Mickeys on there, and the card says, Brandon and Heidi, hello you two. Hope all is well with the recent move at Heidi's school. We just wanted to send you a note to thank you for being two bright lights in the Disney community. We are so grateful for our friendship that has developed this year. For Do Something Nice Day, we wanted to make sure you knew just how inspiring you both are. Stay bright and sunny. Your friends Rochelle and favorite Donna from the Dauntys. Aww. That is so, so kind. So if you didn't know, Rochelle and Donna were part of a collab called like Do Something Nice Day. We'll leave that video linked there down below so you can check it out. It was really, really cool and really awesome. But this is so sweet. You guys are just the best. We Thank appreciate you. your friendship so much and the fact that you thought of us to send a card to is just so kind so thank you guys we love you so much and the last package is a birthday gift for heidi which is so awesome and this is from a subscriber who is just the best sarah e she has sent us stuff before she is so so kind and so sweet and this is so late because it got sent to our p.o box back where we're from and then before the move it took a while and was delayed we finally got it and it is here so heidi is so excited to open this yes. so i'm excited yes i first off just want to say thank you so much to sarah because yeah. you didn't have to send me anything so it's really 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 nice it is really nice <laughs> just so thoughtful so there's some scissors cut that thing open i am just so excited for you, and Heidi. it's been sitting here for a few days now because we just like got it here to where we live now and, and what did you do i wanted to open it so bad so bad brandon wouldn't let me so i'm glad we're opening it now here so it comes in one of these bags I'm i think excited. there's also a note here oh there's a note yes nice yes okay. okay so i'll read the note first nice want me to hold it for you yes okay okay so the note says Heidi, happy birthday. I hope your day was extra special and amazing, just like you. I hope 2021 is your best year ever. Thanks for being a ray of sunshine on the internet. Sorry this is arriving late from Sarah E. You don't have to apologize. <laughs> and thank you. That message was so kind. And that's way more than enough that made my day. <laughs> yeah, that's so sweet. All right. Okay. Is there, this is just, okay. I think it's just okay. a little note. Yeah, like, there's a note. Okay. Oh, that is so cool. That is oh, cool. That's so kind. I love it. So we do already have this, we but do. this is so awesome and so me and like, yeah, like it's amazing. I don't know how you got that from I Amazon. I know. I don't know what how you heck? got that from Amazon. I didn't know they sold those me there. Me neither. So that is so cool. For those of you who may not know, it's a popcorn bucket and it's an onward popcorn bucket. It's awesome. And it's awesome. so cool because it lights up, like the front of it lights up and the lanyard inside is like a very cool onward one. So this is such a cool piece. And again, on the front, it's got Ian and Barley on there, which is so <laughs> hilarious. And on the side, it's got like the Pegasus, but it's it's Guinevere. You can see on the back, there's even like that thing there. So it's from Onward, which is like one of my favorite movies. So I really appreciate this so much. Yeah, so we're gonna swap it out for the one that we have. We're gonna keep this one, Sarah, because yes. it is so special. So thank you so much, Sarah, for the thoughtful gift. It was so kind. And thank you to Rochelle and Donna for the beautiful card and Abby for the awesome pin trade. So that's all that we have for today. Let us know down below in the comments what your favorite pin from our pin board was today. Yes, and be sure to let us know also which attraction I would work at and Heidi would work at in your opinion. I would love to know. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're new, consider subscribing for more Disney content just like this, pins, hauls, and unboxings. And be sure to ring that notification bell so you never miss a new video from us. And remember, it's always sunny.